let's read this mother's prayer. Lord, give me strength just for today to lead my children in your way. Oh, give me wisdom, Lord, and grace to show them your precious face. And help me, Lord, to teach them, too, the things of Christ so rich and true. Just let them see in me, dear Lord, your holiness and life and word. Keep from me from sinning with my tongue, from harsh, quick words that might have stung, your tender hearts to trust me so and watch to see which way I go. Dear Father, keep my thoughts so pure that they will always know for sure. My Lord has led me all the way. Lord, grant my prayer just for today. Good morning. Good morning. Morning. Good morning. Can you hear me okay? I can't hear you. I don't know why. <laughs> Phone. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah, I can hear you now perfectly. Are they required? Huh? Are the headphones required? <laughs> <laughs> no, you're fine. You, I'm I fine. can hear you fine. So I think we say headphones because, like, if there's background, it picks it up. Okay. But you're all good. You're all good. Okay, so I'm so excited to talk to you after because there's a lot you have to fill me in on. Okay. I know. <laughs> um, so um, today for our intentions, um, Pope Francis has asked us for the month of May to pray the rosary every day to stop the coronavirus. Uh, and then – from Martina, prayers for my friend Chastity at three months pregnant. This is the furthest she's carried after two miscarriages. Ah, thanks be to God. Lord, keep her baby safe during this journey. And then from Gemma, please keep my daughter Montana in your prayers. She's been married for three years and suffers infertility issues. And she sees a Catholic fertility specialist on Tuesday. So please pray. She'll soon conceive. I want to pray for all of you that um, may be struggling with infertility. Um, or the desire to conceive. And then just a prayer of Thanksgiving for the birth of Sullivan Allen Rice, born on Wednesday, last Wednesday, to Alex Rice. So congrats, Alex. <laughs> um, any, anything you want to pray for, Kara? Just going into this week, I think um, motherhood is such a bittersweet feeling for most people. And I know most moms I know are, are wanting a break, but they also feel guilty. And so there's always the both sides of the um, spectrum when it comes to Mother's Day. And I just want to pray for all the mothers that or all the women that desire to be mothers that, you know, the miracle, the rosary can play a pivotal role in their life. And then all the mothers that are feeling lack and all the mothers that are just in a tough stage. We pray for them. Okay. Beautiful. I want to pray for all moms and that we may persevere today. <laughs> Amen. Good attitude. We can do all the Monday things. <laughs> I know. Okay. Looking for, oh, there's my rosary. Okay. All right. We'll get started. In the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, the Maker of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, communion of saints, forgiveness of sins, and resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. We pray for an increase in faith, hope, and love. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary.
Oh, okay, you're back. All right. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. <laughs> okay, the no, it's okay. That's okay. We're in the first. Um, okay, so the first joyful mystery is the Annunciation. She was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Dear Lord, please help us to hear your voice and be faithful to our unique calling as mothers and also those who are not mothers and respond according to your will. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. The second joyful mystery is the visitation. During those days, Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. Because of the current situation, we find ourselves living in times where the path forward is unclear and much is outside of our control. In the visitation, we have the example of two courageous women, Mary and Elizabeth, who acted with faith and not in fear. Dear Lord, help us to surrender to your love and respond like these holy women. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with with thee, blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. The third joyful mystery is the Nativity. Mary gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Mary kept all these things, reflecting on them in her heart. Dear Lord, may we reflect upon the great love that you have for each of us and make room in our hearts for you and for our neighbor. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now with the hour of our death. Amen. Thanks for coming back. I hope. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. The fourth joyful mystery is the presentation. Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be contradicted so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. Dear Lord, when we feel as though our heart has been pierced by hurts, betrayal, illness, or loss, please, us, please give us the strength of Mary, so that fear will not hinder us from ministering to others. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Mm -hmm. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, <laughs> pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most need of thy mercy. The fifth joyful mystery is finding Jesus in the temple. When his parents saw him, they were astonished. And his mother said to him, Son, why have you done this to us? Your father and I have been looking for you with great anxiety. In times of crisis, we may experience great turmoil. 
often we may have more anxiety, worrying for those we love their own well-being. May we turn this concern and worry into prudent actions and increase our trust that the Lord is near. Dear Lord, help us to be less anxious of the uncertainties in life and trust more in your goodness. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, heal our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, for vanished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourn in the weeping, in this valley of tears. Turn the most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Jesus. O oh, Clement, a loving, a sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O oh God, by his only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant we beseech thee that by meditating on these mysteries of the most holy rosary, the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. The last prayer, St. Michael. St. <laughs> Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, cast into hell Satan all the evil spirits who roam about the world, free, who roam about the <laughs> world, <laughs> seeking their own of souls. We do it. Amen. We do it all the time. Amen. Don't worry. <laughs> Thank you, God. In the name of I knew I messed up at one point. <laughs> I well, I had a I had a thought like the last glory be. I was like, did I just say glory be? Yeah, it happens, you know. But and after um, in, in between decades, we always say flame of the sacred hearts, give us peace, family unity, and protection against Satan. And I was I was like doing that and interrupting you. 
Oh, I know because you get into these like rhythms. People that you're do it differently. To. It's funny. I know they do. They do. Like a Dominican rosary, I've learned is like different too. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but um, okay. So before we get into like real life mom talk, um, do you want to share like how you first learned the rosary or when it first really had an impact? Okay. On your life. So yeah, those are two different things. Being a cradle Catholic, as you know, because I couldn't even understand my Irish grandmother growing up. She'd be like, "Oh, Mary, Bill, Grace, Lord, Jesus." It's like, <laughs> um, and so I always felt like it was uh, just you know, recited, right? We recite the rosary. And then in the last two years, right before COVID, you know what I mean? It'd be like Good Friday and she'd be like, we're saying 20 rosaries today and you will not understand the word, right? <laughs> but I I probably knew the rosary when I was like four or five because my we, we grew up kneeling down, praying a rosary as a family. I'm one of seven kids. Um, and literally every boyfriend or girlfriend we ever had knew the rosary, Catholic or not. And my dad did not care who was there. I could have been the worker man. They were praying it with us. <laughs> and so, <laughs> we kind of, I think we, we kind of had more a, of that, to be honest. I think we, we do. did more of that. Like, come on in. It's a road yeah, everybody, guy. everybody all is welcome. And then we'd get like the Jehovah Witnesses <laughs> showing up at the door to try to, you know, convert yeah. us. And my dad would, um, yeah. would tell him how, you know, his faith. And so that's how I grew up. But, it didn't mean as much to me until last year, until I started really diving into meditation and listening prayer. And I was, I was reading all of these spiritual authority books. And then I started just praying the rosary differently. I started slowing down. And instead of worrying about, you know, how many I could say, I was just focused so deliberately on the words. And then in between decades, I would focus on like any voice I would hear or instead of just like, reciting right and so I feel like that really changed for me in the last year or two and now when I pray it with my dad because it's inevitable if you get in his car you're praying the rosary and he doesn't care that I'm 36 years old now he just is <laughs> gonna boss me around but I'm like dad can we slow down can we like instead of reciting it can we truly pray it and it's so funny he just gets louder and slower but I'm like are you hearing the words you say so Anyways, for my for my kids and my husband, who's a convert, we try to do it really, really slow instead of rushing through. So, so we had a, a priest on here, Father William, and he shared that if you are, you can just choose one mystery and just meditate mm -hmm. on that over and over, and then if there's one that like really resonates with you too, you can just stick with it. And yeah. I thought that was helpful because I think we think of it like you have to say it exactly like this. And right. it's, it's really, it's such a deep prayer where you could, you can go in so many different directions depending on where the well, graces and, lead. <laughs> and it's a prayer to connect to the Holy Family. And, and in meditation, when I do that, I always just envision that my head is in heaven and my feet are on the ground. So I'm solidly planted on the ground doing the Lord's will. But yeah, I want to feel that connection with, you know, God, our Father, the Holy Spirit, Mary. And I've had some incredible visions of just Mary holding me or rubbing me and that sort of thing. And so, like, that's why I sit and listen more than I try to, you know, do all the obli obligatory <laughs> prayers. Right, right. <laughs> I, I never heard that. And it's beautiful that feet on the ground, but your head is in heaven. Yeah. Wow. That's really good. My husband okay. sometimes like come back to earth, like, <laughs> come back. <laughs> like I'm just gonna spend today in heaven because I can't do earth. <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. So, will your girls? Will they do it with you too? Oh yeah, Is it? yeah. Wow. It's such a battle to get them to kneel, like we used to have to do, because we don't, you know, we're not as <laughs> mean in our discipline as my parents. Yeah. I also like. I want my kids to want to do it right and want to be reverent. And so I'm not going to like smack them upside the head, but I'm just like constantly reminding them to kneel. But yeah. Oh yeah. They do it with me last year when we still lived in California. Um, we used to have to drive 25 minutes each way to school and back. And so we would start on the way and finish on the way home. Wow. I like that. Mm -hmm. They oh, actually were like, we missed that mom. Cause now they've walked to school. Yeah. 
it really is like, I feel like there's a lot of resistance. I mean, my kids for sure really resist it, but it is a time I found that at least they knew that we were coming together and even just like the physical, exactly. physical touch, like yes. sitting on you or yeah. 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 So my husband has this quote. He always tells me trade in your expectations for appreciation. And I try to apply it to that. You know, I try to apply it to my kids and parenting. Um, and so when we are praying or when we're going to mass or we're doing things that are obligation, right? I want them to feel like I feel instead of just doing it because I tell them. And right. so I just appreciate that they're there and willing. Yeah, that is so beautiful. Um, somebody asked uh, where you grew up. Where I grew up in Ohio, the Midwest, Midwest girl, full and through, but lived on the West Coast for 13 years. And now I'm in the South. <laughs> <laughs> now, yes, now you're in Tennessee. So did you guys move like prior to COVID or was it just as COVID was starting? As COVID was starting, we started looking at Lake House rentals in Michigan because, well, so we called ourselves church chasers. So we had a daughter who didn't get her first communion because she was in second grade last year. Oh, no. And so we wanted to get to Ohio as fast as possible so she could be rewarded for that. And so in Ohio, or like before that, we started looking at lake rentals and um, just praying. Every day we were praying the rosary during the beginning of COVID. We slacked since. But that was kind of the beauty of it. Like we, I could feel the miracle of God working in our lives. And then um, my husband and I couldn't find a rental. And so we're like, well, let's just buy a lake house. And we'd been talking about moving for three years. And so we kind of felt like maybe that was on the horizon. But we, we moved. We left California June 1st going to Ohio, then our lake house opened for us June like 24th, then by July 24th, California shut back down, and we were paying for Catholic school, and we're like, I didn't know the next step, we didn't know if we were going to stay in Michigan, go back to California, we listed our house two days later in California, without going back, just by faith of the Holy Spirit, and then wow. we got a very strong message, it's time to go to Tennessee. So we went back, packed up, our house sold in 40 days, which is kind of interesting to me because 40 days seems like that threshold to me. And in fact, I want to write a book called 40 Days to Renew Your Spirit. And yes. every house, yes, girl, <laughs> every, <laughs> yes, house, I actually, wow. <laughs> every house was flying off the market in our set for 40 days. So that was interesting. And God told me the price that it would sell for, and it sold exactly for that price. And I just, one of these days, my husband will trust me, you know? I don't know. Maybe that's heaven. <laughs> but I was like, I know what it's going to sell for. I had a revelation. Like, I know it's going to be fine. We left for Tennessee. And, I mean, even the experience here is nuts. Just, we were in a rental for two months. We, we um, decided we were going to buy a house. And my next door neighbor, who when we moved in, she said, I'd been praying for you for 10 months. And she didn't know me, right? But she was praying for us for 10 months. And she was like, but you guys can't leave me. Our families are too connected. You can't leave. And this neighborhood was just our stepping stone. But we were driving to preschool one day. And I said, I could live in that house. And I pointed to this house. The next day, a for sale sign came up at that house. And I was like, you know, all those prayers you say leading up to pivotal points like that, like I could cry just thinking of how God paves the way when we fully trust. And so being in Tennessee has been such a blessing. Like everything's been open, nothing. I mean, I have two kids celebrating the um, first communion this Sunday because our other daughter not, never got a celebration. She just started receiving and so I, I'm just like so grateful. God has worked in miraculous ways, and I know it was all the prayer leading up to it. You're like the perfect start to like what we're trying to do in May, which is like do a prayer of confidence, <laughs> like a, a big yes. intention. And then uh -huh. a lot of it is how did you continue to trust during that? Because it was months, right? Where so ironically really – Ironically, um, the seven months leading up to COVID, I was preparing for my book to release. And so I was doing all of this work to protect myself and like stay in God's grace and like, you know, because it was a nutrition and wellness book. And um, 
I was in a group called Novo Spiritual Authority, and it was all different denominations, which I felt, I feel like it's super helpful when learning how to yeah. pray differently and maturing in your prayer life. And I feel like even I connected with the rosary more being in a non-denominational group. There was a lot of Catholics in it. Um, but we, we went through Moving Mountains book, John Eldridge, and we learned how to talk to God and we learned how powerful our intentions are and the prayer of confidence. Um, priestly prayer, healing prayer. We learned all these prayer works and stuff I knew, but I always, I was never confident in. And now I feel like when I tell somebody, instead of I'm praying for you, I literally like consecrate them and pray over them instead of being like, I'll pray for you when I pray again. No, I'm praying now. We're going to do this. Wow. And that was all built up through this Novo class. And then COVID hit and I was like, well, I know how to pray. Like, I sit down on an airplane, and I repent for everybody on that airplane because I do not want to fly up in the sky with unrepented sin. <laughs> it's like, I turned into a prayer, a prayer psycho. <laughs> and my husband's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm praying for the souls on this plane. My gosh, it's heavy today. <laughs> You're trying to get all their right. heads up into heaven. Yes. And oh. so I... I like pull it, I bind it and banish it and I pull it out of them and I give them grace. And I, know, I haven't really noticed a difference, but obviously I've flown safely and that's really the important thing. <laughs> so yeah. So great. So you're, you're like near Nashville, right? I think. Yeah. Yeah. We're West of Nashville, I think. <laughs> and Franklin. And it's, I mean, I feel like Tennessee is like really blown up through all this. Like, it just seems like lots of people are heading to Tennessee. Well, I think what's happening with COVID is people are finding like people instead of like, um, you know, trying to make it work in communities that are very polar opposite because the spectrum has really shifted from like meeting in the middle to like, I'm this and I'm that. Um, That's right. I right. feel like people are drawing nearer to what re represents their community. And we laugh about how many more friends we have here because the ties are so much tighter. Like you already know these things about these people. Like everyone goes to church. You know what I mean? Everyone right. prays. Like it is not uncommon to sit and pray with your friend. Um, and then it, like, you know, yeah. everyone's kids are in sports and people came here to keep living life. And so that was where we found ourselves totally matching up is we weren't going to let COVID make us stop living and so we went to the lake because we couldn't swim in California anywhere um, and just kept living our lives. And then Tennessee matched what we wanted. And there's tons of yeah. Chicago people here, too. It's not I just know. California. I know. It's, there's been like a mass exodus. Um, yeah. Uh, companies, too. Um, yeah. Totally. But, um, <laughs> so um, uh -huh. people, are, people are asking, right? Like, yes, yeah, so you have a nutrition business. I don't know if you want to speak a little to that and then how they can find you. Yeah. So you can, they can click me from here, right? It's Kara Clark nutrition. Yeah. Yeah. C -A -R -A -C -A -R -A. yeah. So you can find me um, on Instagram. That's where I'm most active, but then I go in spurts. I don't announce it. I just go silent because the attack is too heavy. <laughs> I yeah. can't even say anything, <laughs> yeah. Michael, the archangels to protect myself. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, you can always find me on my website and my newsletter is the best way to connect to us. Um, uh, and you can just go to caraclarknutrition.com and join my newsletter and just find out what's coming up and like what we're doing throughout the year. And we have a subscription program and we work on the mind, body and spirit. So when I came into nutrition, the only reason nutritionists were needed is for weight loss. And my gold standard was to make everybody feel better because when People feel better, they do better. And so to this day, I teach mind, body, and spirit. And now I can teach it more thoroughly because I went, you know, I've gone through challenges over the years and health issues where one person was like, you're very spiritually weak. And I'm like, impossible. Like, I am the most spiritually <laughs> strong person you've ever met. I've never missed church. I do everything right. I pray every day. Like, you're, you're full of it. And she's like, but that's not your spirit that's your mind. And she showed me how to like connect more. And so then I can teach that and I can teach people like 
a lot of sickness starts in the spirit and like understanding, you know, our bodies and the spiritual connection to our own bodies, but then to other people, like you sit in a room, like I sit in a room with you, I'm going to beeline to you because your energy attracts me so much. You know what I mean? And that's a spiritual thing. It's not a new age thing. It's, it's been around forever. Right. And so I feel like um, once I get people feeling better then I can, I can help them achieve that satisfying life and joy and happiness that they desire because I can help people lose weight all day long, but nothing changes, you know? So um, anyway. do you also speak to like how you, you really, obviously we all need physical exercise, but even just silence that we need to like, yeah, spend, rest yeah. days and, and silence. And I teach on like for a lot of clients, I tell them that their meditation daily is more important than their exercise and that it needs to be prioritized. We're doing yeah. it here, guys. <laughs> yeah, you're doing it here. I mean, it really depends because a lot of us become you know, the spiritual weakness manifests in um, mental, emotional, but most of the time physical, right? And so um, a lot of times people are like driving themselves into the ground and they're just beating a dead horse. And so I'm like, let's slow down. Let's walk. Let's stretch. Like you don't have to go so hard. Um, But like, listen. So we teach listen to your body. And then I hope that equates to eventually like listen to the spirit. Um, but I don't, I try to lead people instead of just like tell them what to do. And so I'm like, if you feel sick after you work out, then it's the wrong workout for you. <laughs> Slow down, you know? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just like envisioning something. Um, <laughs> what, um, yeah, so also what collagen is that? It just seems to be everywhere now. Does that work? <laughs> Does that work? Yeah, but like. Here? It's not a miracle, right? So we stop <laughs> producing. <laughs> Just like, so like I'm always that. teaching. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. Su- it's called a supplement because it's supplemental to what you're already doing, right? And so if you're not using like my diet, <laughs> CCN way of life, <laughs> the way of eating, then what's one supplement going to do? It's not going to do that much. But if you're eating right and then s- supplementing collagen or whatever it is, then it's gonna you're gonna see the benefits, the hair, the skin, the nails, the digestion, and that sort of thing. Right. I'm just laughing because they're saying, yeah, it is everywhere. I just feel like I see it everywhere. I'm like it must maybe it does work. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but but I like that. I mean, you also really speak to eating the colors of the rainbow and healthy fats. And it's not like you're not. It's not like just one type of diet, right? It's no. Like, yeah. No, it's a come as you are, like, here's the guidelines. Let me guide you through. We hold hands. Our last, our current challenge has 2,300 people. Pray for me. Um, It's been a blessing, but it's also, like, it was super, super hard the first week. Um, It's hard because you you do, you want to talk to, like, you want to actually do make a connection with them, and when you get into the thousands, Mm -hmm. it's... Well, and then they come thinking it's a weight loss gimmick program and it's just not, and you have to really work hard at it. But yeah, we can work with paleo. We can work with vegan. We can work with every part of the spectrum in the sense that you just combine your macros, you eat five colors a day and you eat every three to four hours for ideally, because we're eating for a stable blood sugar. When we're eating for a stable blood sugar, the benefits are insane. We balance our hormones. We have more energy. Our moods are more stable. So we're going to be better, you know, in my, in this case, mothers. And in the, in my case, 90% of my clients are mothers. And so it's like, do you want to connect with your kids in that present moment? Well, like, it's so much easier said than done. And here's why you got to feel good. Like when you feel good and people literally say it's life changing, like I am stable or eating for stable blood sugar now. And I feel more present in the moment. I feel more connected to everybody. I feel like my family sits down together. Like, good things happen from it. (laughs) Right. right. So what's like your go-to for sugar then? Like what, like your sweet or what? I mean, I guess I know you do like the smoothies. Yeah. So, um, I still make every cookie cake and brownie under the sun. Hello. I'm from the Midwest. (laughs) I know. Well, I know about your like protein bars. 
or your balls. Yes, yes. in the balls. We love yes. our balls around yes. here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so energy balls, that's something I regularly have. I don't, once you change your palate, you like can't do sugar anymore. And so yeah. it's always one of those things like, sorry, not sorry. You're not going to enjoy the cake at the wedding like you used to. But here's why, because your taste buds change. And now you still want sweetness, but like dark sugar or dark chocolate does it to me. Honey and maple syrup are my go-tos when baking. And then um, coconut sugar sometimes. And I kind of end there because everything else is so processed. Yeah. But honey, you can have honey. Yeah. I have uh, yeah. local honey in my coffee this morning, my yeah, mushroom see? coffee. <laughs> yes. <Yeah, see? laughs> Does it have collagen in it too? No. Yeah. No. I actually prefer bone broth over collagen. I just don't like processed stuff. <laughs> Well, yeah, I know. It, it is to be like, straight from the everywhere. bones. <laughs> yeah. I know. Are you guys growing a garden now, too? I'm waiting for my dad to get here this week for the first communion, and then I'm going to lay it on him that he's growing my garden. I love your dad. What's his name? My dad is really – you should have him on here. He's something. Yeah, we should. He's my mom, too. I mean, she's a saint for staying married to him. <laughs> my goodness. And are they still in Ohio? Yeah. Yeah. They're so happy they can drive to me now. They just, all their prayers were answered because all my siblings live by them. And one of my prayer intentions is actually for my youngest sister, who's a Marine. And she's only 20 years old and goes to Japan for three years um, after she gets to spend a month with us. So keep her in your prayers. Her name's Maria. And she came after we lost Gabriel. So I just feel like the two of them are super connected and partly <laughs> she's a Marine because she's so tough because he's like part of her. And yeah. so um, she volunteered so that a married person with kids didn't have to go. She's oh. got a good soul. Oh my gosh. She's so great. Okay. We're still going to pray for her too. If she were here, we would be praying over her. Yes. Well, she'll be here Thursday and I'll be praying over her. <laughs> okay. What, um, what's a much, you, a mushroom coffee? Is that what it is? Oh. Yeah. I feel like I've... Have you heard of that yet? Like the yeah. chaga, the lion's mane? I do the yes. Four Sigmatic Lion's Mane coffee because I love, love, love coffee, and I'm not willing to ever give it up, and I it could, like, kill me, and I'm not going to give it up. But I am going to go organic because it is highly pesticide-treated. And I've added the mushroom and because it doesn't make me as hyper and and it helps me like level right. out because I'm right. really high energy in the mornings. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I've tried that coffee. What's it called again? The uh, like, Four Sigmatic Lion's Mane. That's right. That's right. Four Sigmatic. It's like orange box. In a, yeah. yeah. Uh huh. You got yeah. it. <laughs> I kind of know. I follow you. Yeah. I You've know. tried all the trends. Have I you ever know. put it all together? <laughs> <laughs> I mean. It's hard because I like I really like pizza. Like there's certain things, Chip, <laughs> chips and salsa. So uh, I it's like a it's like a modified, you know, alcohol. Mm -hmm. Are you do you, are you alcohol? No I alcohol? do drink, but I prefer drinking during the day. I'm a, I'm like the yeah. old soul in every group, and so that's why Lake Life really suits me because everyone starts drinking at you know noon and they true. stop by five <laughs> it's true i know i hate true. drinking at night i hate drinking at night and then i also do organic red wine i know you're shocked no. um wait are you on a lake right now are no oh not not yet we'll not go mid-june yeah it's, it is the best it's just such it's a, best. but such a great memory and yeah um, and all my husband's family's there so we have lots of help and like all those cousin connections and stuff. Yeah. So uh, I think, I think Kara's got like a worldwide following. Can we refer friends to you from out of state? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's right. I have clients in Australia. You name it. I got clients there. Um, what I do mostly is group challenges and we make them seasonal. And so we not only choose like education topics that are on trend and seasonal, we also choose foods that are seasonal. I have a team of, I think, eight women, all mothers that work from home. Also, 
um, only work part time. And they are just, they came to me. Obviously, the Holy Spirit has been like completely meshed into my business because I never had to hire one person. They all said, hey, this is what you need from me. And I'm, and I pray over it and it's right and we do it. Yep. So yep. my design team all came to me. My, and now I have three nutritionists and I'm doing exactly what I love. And, you know, I, it's been a godsend, even though for a couple of years I, I kind of cursed it and didn't want it. I wanted to just be a stay at home mom. I, <laughs> I never got to do that. I, <laughs> I remember when you were like at that place where it was, it was, uh, it was getting overwhelming, right? It was like encroaching. Was. Yeah. I hired a CFO and for the first three meetings, he was very expensive too. I just sat and cried and I'm like, like just pouring it out. I couldn't even like put words together. I'm like, I know you're expensive, but like, I can't do this. I can't do this. I just can't. I'm so overwhelmed. Right. <laughs> Cause exactly. I, I, I started it when I got pregnant or when I got pregnant with my first daughter and I started with sororities and I was teaching boot camp and showing them how to buy groceries and stuff like that. And then it just totally evolved. Like every kid I had, it seemed like it was more blessed. Yeah. <laughs> right. I remember like laying in the hospital bed, like having to respond to stuff, you know, and I was like, this is not what I asked for, but now it is like, all these years later, eight years into group challenges, we, you know, have worked with over 50,000 people, maybe more. Um, and I know my book has reached more people. So I have a book called The Wellness Remodel. And you can get that anywhere. Yep. Uh -huh. yep. And she's somebody she I grew up with, with on here. Christina. She did it with the, um, she and it's HGTV, HG, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. That's right. Yeah. Um, okay, and it was well, interesting because, yeah, you can cut it off. No, no, <laughs> cut no, me off. Keep, no, keep going. No, keep going. <laughs> I was we just going to say the book. The book was interesting um, because Christina and I come from really different faith backgrounds and we practice different faiths, but they let us talk about each of those. And um, I kind of saw myself at the publisher meetings as like somebody who could help bridge the gap for people. And I feel like God gave me like more universal tongue through it all. So that like, instead of just preaching at people, I can kind of just, you know, lead them and, and hope that they, you know, come through. And so I um, kind of just felt like my job in writing the book was to bridge the gap for people. The wellness remodel. The, well, the wellness remodel. Mm -hmm. Amazon, anywhere, right? Target, Amazon. Barnes and Noble. <laughs> I can't remember seeing you. I was <laughs> to That's Kara. Yeah, that's Target. We went back on the front stands for New Year's. So everyone wants to make it right in the New Year. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Oh, my God. Well, this is such a lovely morning. I hope they all know where to find you. Um, we'll, we'll share some things in the story so that they can find you. Oh, Last question. What, they did ask, like, what rosary books did you read? Or I think, like, what prayer books, maybe, did you read where all of a sudden you realized you wanted to go slower? During, okay. Um, is there a way I can send you a list? Because there's five books, yeah. and none of them are specifically rosary books, but they spoke to me about the rosary. Um, I know one is The Life Jesus Made Possible. Um, one is Inner Healing, Prayer. She'll come back. Um, okay, so she'll she'll send us the list of those books and we'll share them. Yeah, and then her book is the Wellness Remodel. Yeah, you send us the list of those books and we'll share those. Okay. So, I keep for, them out. Thanks for the great morning. Thanks for having me. Always. <laughs> Okay, God bless. Bye, guys. Talk to you guys Thanks later. Bye.